kihesabu hizi miwa kapata mm. iko imejazana kwa nyengo moja ni alipanda mm. mm-hmm. so ina maanisha brilliant mm. uh, kwa mambo ya vegetative stage mm. na tillering mm. inafanya vizuri sana tangu tu nigundue tu mm. kenagro na mahindra mm. na hizi madawa zingine mm. ah my work is now easier Wow. That's why atasquizi yeah. siwezi mm. amuka mapema sana. Mm. Mm. Mimi siko kunywa mm. chai mimi nitakuwa mgonjwa. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. So mm. finally huku mm. kwetu mm. maboys wameamua mm. you plant sugar cane but mm. you harvest money. Mm. Ukipanda miwa mm. au utavuna miwa mm. unavuna pesa. Mm. Spray sweet. Hello and welcome to Kilimo na Kenago. Here we are in Teso South to cover sugarcane farming in Busia County. Did you know that sugarcane is the leading cash crop in Busia County? So do join me so that we can learn more about sugarcane growing and all you need to know about uh, crop protection in sugarcane farming. Habari yako? Nzuri sana. Uko salama? Niko salama. Wow, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Kipitel Dolentele Steven. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm a resident of this area. Wow, mm. your farm looks so wonderful. Yes. Uh, hii sugar king iko na miezi ngapi sasa? Saa hizi iko na miezi 7 siku 3. 7 months. Yes. The sugar industry in Kenya supports livelihoods of at least 9 million people from the national population. Sugarcane farming is mainly practiced in 15 counties within Nyanza, Rift Valley, Western and Coast regions. Here in Amukura Central, Teso South, sugarcane farming goes for three seasons. So when did you start uh, farming sugarcane? Sugarcane farming I started in 2008 after 2008. my graduation, yes. Wow, graduation. Mm. Yes. You um, did a degree I did a degree in public administration. So do you practice uh, public administration? I don't. You are full-time farmer. Yes, 100%. Sugarcane farming is an agri business for Steven. Having grown up in a family that farms it and realizing it offers self-employment to majority of residents in his county. He sells sugarcane as seed cane, which cuts transportation costs unlike the milk cane. The type of seed he grows is CO945 sugarcane variety. He says it's durable, good tillering, and has high sucrose content. Cuttings are used as a means of propagation. Here's an example for a well-maintained uh, cane. Eh? Uh-huh. Naweza tumia hii kama example. Yes. So sifaro ziko yes. unalaza hivi mm-hmm. alafu unapata ingine mm-hmm. unalaza tena from mm-hmm. that end mm-hmm. naanzia hapa mm-hmm. ikienda hivi then mm-hmm. you chop into mm-hmm. into at least three nini mm-hmm. nyengo nyengo mm-hmm. kama tatu tatu uh-huh. hapa katikati kwa inter, yeah. kati, in between the internodes okay kata hapa ukata hapa mm-hmm. ukata hapa ukata hivi mm-hmm. the advantages of cutting the cane into three internodes or nyengo in swahili are cha kwanza inazuia mchwa kama mtu yuko kwa shamba lako lazuia mtu kukula hii ikiingia huku kukula yote mpaka mwisho kama haujakata itakula mpaka mwisho lakini kama umekata mtu inaweza kukula kutoka hapa kufikia hapa mm-hmm. tapati imekatika na hiyo mtu inafanya ni mm-hmm. inaacha mm-hmm. cha pili it will help this nini in terms of germination mm-hmm. cause any plant mm-hmm. the germinating hormones inatoka from the lower part zikienda the upper part the upper part yeah. the germinating hormones mm-hmm. there are several zote zina concentrate huko so ukichop Hizi mm-hmm. zenye kwa sababu hii nini umetaminate. Hizi mm-hmm. nini zote plus sukuru zitakuwa zinasonga zikienda wapi? Mm-hmm. At the tip. Hizi mm-hmm. nini ziki, zikikuja kutoka huku mpaka hapa? Mm-hmm. Kifika hapa imekatika. Mm-hmm. So zinabalja hapa inafanya hii node. Inafanya nini? Mm-hmm. Na is proud. Mm-hmm. Hivyo hivyo. So another reason as, as to why the yeah. germination, germination, germination percentage huku nyuma mm-hmm. iko low. Mm-hmm. So sasa unapanga miwa unaona huku? Mm-hmm. Si huku ni nyuma. Yes. So ukipanga miwa nyingine mm-hmm. utaleta mm-hmm utaleta pale ile nini yake ya pale please take an example of this 
So, hii ni nini tutaweka hivi si huku ni nyuma yake na huku pia ni nyuma. So tunaweka hivi. At least 10% ya yeah. height ya hii nini. Uh -huh. Ya overlap kwa. Uh, yeah. So hii pia una kata kati in terms of nyengo. Mm -hmm. Ukisha kata ukifunika mm -hmm. probability ya huku kuja minute iko low mm -hmm. lakini hapa iko haya. Hapa iko low, hapa mm. iko haya. Yeah. So utapata dini yako yote plant population mm. you achieve it. Steven planted this one acre sugarcane farm in April this year. He spends between 53,000 to 65,000 Kenyan shillings on farm expenses or inputs. The profit he generates is more than 250,000 Kenyan shillings in 12 months. Factors to consider before getting into sugarcane farming are the type of soil, terrain, weather patterns, and market demand of the variety. Sandy loam soil and hot and wet temperatures favor sugarcane as the latter ensures the cane matures faster and boosts creation of sucrose, which gives good quality yields and a more profitable seed cane preferred by most millers. Your sucrose content, mtu anaweza kutell how by doing what? Because ukiangalia mimi hivi hawezi sema tu ini tamu how do they test that? Okay, manually sisi hapa mtaa una una test tu na kula tu na hii ya hii imekoma. Lakini sasa pale kwa mahabara ma nini pale wataenda na waipima. Wanaipima. Wanaipima wanaona. In fact there is a lawyer anasema kwa kulima watakuwa nalipwa kutumia sucrose content. Mm -hmm. Kuna hiyo nini for example kienda Kabaras. Hiyo yeah. plant imejengwa pale ya kuitest mm -hmm. sucrose mm -hmm. content ya. Yeah. Ya miwa. Steven has been managing sugarcane weeds with Mahindra herbicide as he explains. Mahindra is so good ukipiga kwa shamba tamaliza 3 months ama 4 months before magugu ya me. Before hiyo magugu ya me. Yeah. So, so you use Mahindra as a pre-emergence yes, before the weeds grow. Exactly. Okay. Mahindra is one of the best kwa sababu hii ni kilimo biashara. You see we look and away mm -hmm. we minimize the input mm -hmm. while we maximize the mm -hmm. output. Yes. So if you use a herbicide like mm -hmm. Mahindra mm -hmm. uh, you will achieve your your mm -hmm. goals. In mm -hmm. fact, mm -hmm. si kwa nimejua Mahindra mzuri lakini mm -hmm. tangu nijue Mahindra sasa mm -hmm. faida naona imeongezeka. Imeongezeka. Okay. Mm. Wow. And uh, for nutrition other than uh, the basal fertilizer, do you use foliar fertilizers? Eh uh, tuko na brilliant fertilizer. Mhm. Mm Yo pia ina ina supplyiwa na Green Agro. Mm. It is one of the best. Unachukua mm. lita kwa 200 liters mm. unamwaga lita moja. Mhm. Hiyo kwanza inafanya mm. nini na spawn sana hizi mm -hmm. tiller zake. Mm -hmm. Tunaona bado zinatoka. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because it is well fed. Yeah. Tunaona vile iko healthy. Uh -huh. Kwa sababu ime mm. imelishwa mzuri. So inaendelea kurefuka kabisa. Ba, hii bado. Mm. Hii bado. It is only <laughs> some months. Bado hata uh -huh. ijaanza kuweka nyengo mzuri. Uh -huh. eh, Miwa zingine zenye yeah. maoni imepandwa na hizi hata yeah. hata nyingine ijaanza kuweka nyengo. Uh -huh. Lakini unaona kwa sababu yeah. ime maintainwa mzuri. Yes. Getting a good seed variety during seed selection helps control pests and diseases in sugarcane. Steven says, besides weeds and termites, there are few crop challenges originating from pests and diseases in his farm. All he has to do is keep good hygiene and feed his crop with a base of fertilizer, adding foliar feed for nutrition. He gets Kinagro products from Green Agro Agrovet based in Busia town. Sometimes nisipopata mtu wa Kinagro inaenda na consult wao pia wako na agronomist huko they advise me what to do. So the Agrovet also advises you. Sometimes they sometimes they have an agronomist there. Wow. Wow, that's, what to do. wow, that's so good. Mm. And uh, we have of course our agronomist covering this region, uh Wakenagro. Mulianza kuzungumza na yeye lini na amekusaidia vipi katika kilimo chako ili uweze kupata mapato zaidi? Cha kwanza kwa chochote kwa biashara kwa biashara yote yenye unafanya, you must have a technician. Unajua mm. before ni before nianze kutumia si kwa natumia hizi madawa, mm -hmm. madawa za za kuwa magugu. Mm -hmm. So ndio nilikutana na nini mmoja wa, wa Kenagro, mm. akaniambia Ah, ukitaka ku minimize your input yeah. capital, hebu mm -hmm. jaribu kutumia herbicides. Ulikuwa unatumia wafanyikazi? 
Kita you were doing manual reading? Every mm. time I was mm. just doing manual reading throughout. Mm. And I was about to give up mm. because of the labor, labor intensive, mm. this labor intensive. Yeah. Inaitaji pesa mingi, nini, sasa nini hauna pesa. Supervising them as well. You are, ma- you are supposed yeah. to be there. Yeah. Lakini tangu tu ni gundwe tu, mm. Kenagro na Mahindra, mm. na hizi madawa zingine. Mm. Ah, my work is now easy. Wow. That's why atasquizi yeah. siwezi mm. amuka mapema sana. Mm. Mm. At least na, nimepata mm. nafasi ya kulala kidogo. <laughs> That's so interesting. Yes. So uh, thank you so much for the information. Uh, we are going to be speaking to our agronomist who covers this county of Busia to help us understand all the products that our farmer is speaking about. He has really uh, talked of Mahindra as one of the best products which he has been using to control weeds and it has helped him to maximize his profits as well as uh, increase the yields. So do join us. Let's talk to our agronomist and learn more about Kilimo Nakina Group. Hello Yego. Uh, good. Uh, you're doing well? Yes. So we are in your region, western region. Yes. How many counties do you cover? Uh, I cover almost uh, mm. like six counties. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Turkana, mm. West Pokot, mm. Transoya, mm. Bungoma, Busia mm. and mm. Kakamega. Mm-hmm. And this is Busia County? This is Busia County. Mm-hmm. Where we have uh, some regional manager, mm. Cliff Siunda. Mm covering the, mm. four, the three mm. counties of mm. Western, mm-hmm. uh, that's Busia, mm. Kakamega mm. and Bungoma. The first product to apply in sugarcane farming is dry weed herbicide as our agronomist Michael Yego continues to expound. This dry weed from Kenagro, dry weed 396SL, this is a non-selective herbicide. Mm-hmm. So you apply before plowing mm-hmm. uh, for land preparation. Yeah, mm-hmm. for those weeds that are actively grown. Mm-hmm. So you apply 250 of dry weed, mm-hmm. you mix with 20 liters of water. Mm-hmm. So one liter is enough for mm-hmm. one acre. Mm-hmm. One week after applying dry weed, you plow your land for primary tillage. Two weeks after, you do secondary tillage. Then a week later, till the land making furrows in preparation for planting. The spacing to use is 120 centimeters from one row to another. Sprouting takes roughly 19 days. Then you apply Mahindra herbicide. So Mahindra herbicide, sana sana tunaitumia kwa mahinde. And now we have learned that we can use it in sugarcane. Tell us more about Mahindra application in sugarcane farming. Okay, this Mahindra is a selective herbicide mm-hmm. for sugarcane. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rate of application uh, it's between 250 to 300 mils mm-hmm. per 20 liter napsa. Mm-hmm. Yes. So what? Uh, w- what the difference of 250 and 300? Mukulima na fa kutumia kujua tumia gani? Because uh, kamu mepatiwa iyo rate ambayo ni iko na gap in between. How do I know kama nita tumia 250 amanda tumia 300? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, in a depend na level of weeds. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you are doing it come a pre-emergency before weeds grow before the emergence yes. of the weeds yes. uh, it's better you use 250 mils mm-hmm. it will be very cost effective mm-hmm. and if uh, you use you're using like a post-emergency mm-hmm. yeah it's better you use the higher rate mm-hmm. 300 mils mm-hmm. yes and uh, it being uh, a selective herbicide in a side sugar cane okay it clears all the weeds eh? mm-hmm. na sugar can cure weed free kwa hivyo hakuna competition ya nutrients mm-hmm. so tunapata actively actively mm-hmm. grown mm-hmm. cans mm-hmm. yes uh, the dose rate uh, ya, ya, ya mahindra ni uh, 250 to 300 kumaanisha kama ekari hii moja ametumia mahindra kiasi kipi kama hii ekari moja ametumia mahindra liter moja mm-hmm. one liter is enough for an acre yes Using 300 ml of Mahindra in 20 liters of water dose rate means an acre will need 1.2 liters of Mahindra herbicide. Now, to manage sugarcane pests like aphids, white flies, and mealybugs, we have Aragon. Aragon will clear all the sucking insects mm-hmm. and uh, we can combine with the golden leaf. Mm-hmm. As a sticker. Okay. Yeah. Aragon is a broad spectrum insecticide. Yes. So what's the uh, advantage of using a broad spectrum insecticide? 
advantage of using a broad spectrum insecticide is you may tackle two or three different insects that affect the sugarcane plantation at a go. Uh, when you apply at once, you tackle the mealybugs, you tackle the sugarcane white flies, you tackle the all those. Mm. So it's cost effective. It's cost effective. Yeah. Also, it's less laborious. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So uh, Aragon uh, dose rate is uh, 10 ml in 20 liters yes. of water. Yes. And uh, when you're using Aragon, you've talked about adding golden leaf water sticker. What's the advantage of using a water sticker in application of insecticides and fungicides? Okay, mm. you use golden leaf. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a sticker yeah. and a spreader. Mm -hmm. It spreads mm -hmm. the, the chemicals after mm -hmm. the chemicals mm -hmm. landed on the mm -hmm. surface of the mm -hmm. leaf, mm -hmm. it spread the mm -hmm. chemicals mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the whole okay. part of the, mm -hmm. leaf. Of the leaf. So it enhances yes. the effectiveness. Yeah. Uh, the farmer talked about applying uh, basal fertilizers but, al but also applying a uh, foliar fertilizer, uh, brilliant to be precise. Uh, what is a brilliant foliar fertilizer uh, and uh, how does it help in uh, sugarcane farming? Uh, what is the most important stage of application and um, how does it enhance the entire sugarcane farming? Talking of brilliant, brilliant is a foliar ammonium phosphate. Uh, we normally advise the farmer to use brilliant as a starter and vegetative stage simply because it has two nutrients. Phosphorus and nitrogen. Phosphorus of 36 and nitrogen of 28. That are primarily needed by the crop uh, for root development and the vegetative stage. Uh, the dose rate is 40 ml per 20 liter of knapsack. But see, since uh, sugarcane is heavy feeder crop, uh, we normally advise the farmers to use the rate of 100 ml per 20 liter of knapsack. Uh, brilliant will help uh, root propagation, that is root development, the work of phosphorus and uh, new shoots, tailoring. We will have good tailoring rate and we have a good population of sugarcane in your plantation. Also to add, you uh, can mm use -hmm. brilliant, you can use easy tillers, okay, you can use it to get it to get it imejazana kwa nyengo moja ni alipana. Mm. Mm -hmm. So ina maanisha brilliant mm. uh, kwa mambo ya vegetative stage mm. na tillering mm. inafanya vizuri sana. Mm. Ile alikuwa ametueleza mm. kwamba mm -hmm. anakata mm. nyengo mm. mbili mm -hmm. tatu mpaka mm. nne. Mm. Unapata hii nyengo mo, nyengo kama tatu mm. na ukipata imetoa tillers mingi. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sugar cane farming we only have two principles. Mm -hmm. That is time as a principle, yeah. and also quality. Quality and time, yeah. Quality and time. Yeah. Quality, umechagua shamba mzuri. Mm -hmm. Umelima depths, mm -hmm. so ili meenda, meenda mm. chini mzuri. Mm. 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 Ume, umeangalia, udongo haina stress. Mm. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Varaya tumepata ili mzuri, mm. mbole unatumia mzuri. Mm. 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 Alafu kikuja kwa time, mm. umelima kwa wakati mzuri, mm. umepanda wakati mzuri, Mm. Unapalia wakati mzuri, mm. unamwaga mbolea kwa wakati mzuri, mm. unakata kwa wakati mzuri. So mm. you achieve your targets. Our agronomist has talked about the crop protection products from Kenagro Supplies Limited that a sugarcane farmer should embrace in their farming journey to help maximize the yields. So what other practices should the farmer incorporate? Uh, besides applying the agrochemicals and also the foliar fertilizers. Uh, our agronomist, maybe you can mention Minini mkulima anafaa afanye badala ya kutumia madawa peke yake kwa sababu shamba ili liweze kuwa nzuri kama hili si bidhaa peke yake ambazo utatumia. Ndio. Ah vile tumeona our farmer here ni ana practice livestock keeping. Kwa hivyo wakati anapata manyoa ile samadi ya ngombe asiweze kuzitupa aweze kuiweka vizuri na aweze kutumia kwa shamba lake kwa sababu tunajua the best fertilizer for cans ni manure
lazima zingatie shamba lake liwe na drainage nzuri kusikuwa na water no barrier pia ikuwe weed free ili mimea iweze kukula madini so about water supply mkulima wetu labda unaweza tuambia unatoa maji watu unategemea mvua ama unafanya nini hapa pia wale huko tunategemea mungu na hiyo ni mvua the natural drains yes watujafikia ile kiwango unajua irrigation unahitaji kwanza shamba iwe kubwa na tu inatoa ni source of water yeah but huko kwetu hatuna hiyo deficit ya mvua sana tunapata mvua reliable rainfall ile yenye inatosha ile yenye iko tu sawa na nini yeah so kilimo cha sugar cane hakihitaji maji mengi sana Mm. Kinahitaji maji kwa wakati fulani mm -hmm. sio maji mengi okay reliable rainfall mm -hmm. ile yenye kiwango chake kilingana that's why tuna tunapanda miwa mm -hmm. mahali penye pako hot mm -hmm. and wet okay yeah. right. hot and wet hot and wet so you're a successful uh, agri business person and uh, kuna watu wengi sana huku nje wanasema hakuna kazi we have so many graduates every year and they're saying there are no jobs yet yourself you graduated but uh, embraced farming as your full time job unaweza kuambia how vijana vipi let's take an example of this ward mm. let me talk about uh, amkura central ward in pasahol uh, mm -hmm. hapo hivi unajua tumebadilisha personally nimebadilisha akili ya watu wengi ya vijana mm -hmm. wengi sana mm -hmm. so you are a mentor to them exactly mm -hmm. so hizi vijana wengi huku hawatafutangi kazi mm -hmm kazi yao mtu akimaliza form 4 mm. kwa mfano nilikuwa na group that was mm. kuanzia 2015 nilikuwa mm. na group ya watu kama 15 mm. wenye nime wa mentor mm. na walimia shamba niko mm. na tingo na walimia mm. shamba you supply mm. them with the mm. seed cane mm. and after say story ambolea mm. wanangangana kidogo mm. pia wananiona mm. kupalia mm. na palia wenyewe mm. sasa hizi hao watu mm. wenye wamefika wengine wako na over 50 acres mm. wengine 30 so hao watu they are very stable they and, I'm proud, oh. and i'm proud of them ama wamenunua ni kulizi hiyo hmm. oh. mashamba ni kulizi oh, kulizi yeah. mm. okay. and i'm proud of them mm. na ikifika wakati wa melon mm -hmm. huku huku mm -hmm. mkoa central mm -hmm. kila mtu utapata shamba mm -hmm. Eh, wote wanaingia kwa ukulima amelo. So, ukiwa self employed, uko na time yako yote ya kufanya kila kitu na pesa yako utatumia bila bila masharti mengi kama tunaweka nyingine rent siji nini. Eh, here we are okay. Mm, especially kwa self employed. Yes. Very sweet. So uh just to finalize uh, we have uh, tuna sukari sukari nyingi sana kwa soko yes. right so uh, I, i believe this is a county that produces a lot of sugar that yes. is consumed in country in the in the country yes. uh what makes your sugar unique our sugar mm. Okay what makes our sugar unique mm. unajua huko sinategemea na process mm -hmm. inategemea na efficiency mm. ya machine yeah hapo sitaki kuingilia ingawaje hata mm. sisi temperature zina to favor mm -hmm. the sucrose content yetu iko mm. juu yes. iko na polar content around uh, not less than not less than 10 yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. so inafanya sukari yetu inakuwa tamu mm. sana mm. Yeah. do you consume sugar yourself I'm the biggest consumer. Mimi ni siko kunywa chai ni kwa mgonjwa. Yes. Okay. So uh, finally huku uh, uh, kwetu uh, maboys wameamua we uh, plant sugar cane but uh, we harvest money. Uh, Ukipanda miwa uh, hautavuna miwa. Uh, Unavuna pesa. Ni ukweli. Uh, And that's the right mambo, mentality. Mambo ya kusema ati nimepanda ati mimi navuna miwa. Hata sasa hii ukiuliza mtu mwenye anavuna miwa anakuambia ah mimi navuna pesa. Anavuna pesa. Yes. Wow that's so good. Alafu mimi na wetu pia unajua na tu unatujali. Na tulipa after every one week. Ukikata leo next nini uko na pesa yako. Next Thursday. Thank you so much for your time. We are so happy to 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 talk to you thank and you to too. learn so much from you as well as our agronomist Michael Yego. So thank you so much for watching this video. I remember that if uh, if you have any questions you can always ask us on the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Kenagro Online and also talk to us through our social media platforms. We have Facebook, we have Instagram, Twitter or X 
and uh, that's Kinagro Suppliers Limited or LTV. Uh, we also have our WhatsApp account and it's connected to a group where we have farmers asking their questions. If you're a sugarcane farmer or if you're a maize farmer, if you're a potato farmer, uh, tomato farmer, potato farmer, any type of farming and you have questions, you can always take a photo if you have a smartphone and share to our WhatsApp group. Our agronomist will be right there to respond to you and help you because Kenagro is partnering with farmers. Kenagro Supplies Limited also has a seed company that is AgriPak Seeds. We supply seeds uh, throughout the country and uh, if you're looking for seeds to plant from hybrids to open varieties uh, do uh, go to AgriPak Seeds because we are there to provide you with quality seeds that will make you a better farmer and definitely a successful farmer. We also have House Farm Limited If you're a livestock keeper, uh, and House Farm Limited is the company to go for because we have different products that will support your farming journey. From Akari sides, we also have animal feeds uh, premixes binders all of them to help boost your animal farming and animal keeping so thank you for uh, watching this video and see you next time bye bye <laughs> Dawa salama, kwa mazingi